Hey everyone, today I have a quick tech tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to enable virtualization in your UEFI or your BIOS on a Gigabyte X570 or a Elite Wi-Fi gaming motherboard. Now, if you have a different Gigabyte motherboard, I'd love to hear about it in the comments section below if the process is the same for you. So recently I was in the Microsoft Store and I was trying to install the Amazon App Store on my Windows 11 PC and I got this pop-up and it said enable virtualization in UEFI or the BIOS. And it said you need to enable virtualization in your device's UEFI to run the Windows subsystem for Android. And I was like, okay, I need to do that. So I figured I'd show you how to do that in the bio. So let's jump right into it. All right, so here we are on my desktop. And in order to get into the BIOS, I need to restart my system and then repeatedly tap the delete key on my keyboard a whole bunch of times as the system's booting up. Now, if you have a different motherboard, it might not be delete for you. It might be F2 or F10. You might have to do a quick Google search if you're using a different motherboard. There we go. We're in our Gigabyte BIOS here. Really easy to get in here. Again, hit the delete key several times and it'll bring you right in here. Now, currently we are in the easy mode here in the BIOS. And in order to enable virtualization, we actually need to get into the advanced mode. So over here on the left hand side, it says advanced mode, or you can hit F2 on your keyboard. Just go ahead and double click on that. And that's gonna put us over into the advanced mode. Now up here at the top, there's several different features from favorites to tweaker settings, etc. The one we're looking for is the tweaker setting right here. And in the tweaker setting, again, a ton of options here. The one we're looking for is right here, advanced CPU settings. So you can actually use your arrows to go up and down and then hit enter or again your mouse. So um, go to advanced CPU settings and hit enter. And in here, the option we're looking for is the second one down, SVM mode, which is the virtualization mode. So currently you can see that that is disabled right there. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that or hit the enter key. And we can actually go down to enabled here. So right now it's on disabled. Let's go down to enabled. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Now, before you leave this area, we need to make sure that we save our settings. So you can actually go up here to the top and left click on save and exit, just like that. And there's a couple options here, save and exit setup or exit without saving. If you made a mistake and you don't wanna save anything, you can exit without saving. Or you can also hit F10 on your keyboard and that's gonna take you to the save and exit setup and it's really that simple after you've saved this to turn on virtualization here on a gigabyte x570 or a solid wi-fi gaming motherboard so if this tutorial was able to help you enable virtualization so you can run the windows subsystem for android on your gigabyte x570 or a solid Wi-Fi gaming motherboard. If this video did help you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.